Thank you for coming. He was my father too, Victor. I know. I just uh, meant to say something nice to Mother. Your mother's dead. Your mother's here. And the evil stepsisters too, I say. Please be nice. It's Dad's funeral. Mother, how are you? I'm glad to see you here, Ray. Dressed appropriately for the occasion. You know how much your father loved you. Oh, we all know how much my father loved me. We've all missed you, William. People really notice my absence, don't they? We pray for his absence. Come with me, kids. Today, we are reunited to celebrate the farewell Eucharist of our dear friend, Bill Brighton. Bill Brighton was far more than a parishioner for me, far more than a father to his wonderful children, William Jr., Victor, Monica, Christine. Far more than a loving husband to his lovely wife, Ava. Bill Brighton's passion in life was for helping those in need. Through his Brighton Foundation, he helped hundreds of transplant survivors who owe him their lives. A church at the Brighton Foundation. And in his personal life, he was always exceptional. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Miss, did you know my father? Is there anything we could do to help you? I'm sorry. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Like so many people, I came to Los Angeles to fulfill my dreams. What I didn't realize...
real lies when I left home. The trouble with chasing your dreams is sometimes you wake up alone. Years ago. What if you can't come back? I don't know. Bahamura. I'll pay you an extra month rent. And you can have my TV and all the stuff I leave. Mm -mm -mm. Yours? You really don't want this dress? Mm -mm. Why so bitter, Miranda? You did what anyone would have done. When I saw the green flames, I just knew I'd regret it. What did you find out when you talked to her? Nothing, really. She has an accent. If I found her, I would kill her. Oh, yeah, that would really clear up Dad's reputation, Monica. She could be anyone. She's probably someone the Foundation helped, someone who got a transplant. She has nothing to do with the Foundation. Even Mary, who's been with us since day one, didn't know her. Now, everyone thinks Dad had a lover. Or worse, we have a sister. Shut up, Monica. You care too much about what other people think. This family has a reputation to uphold. Have you thought about how Mom must be feeling? That damn woman is hiding something. Whether she's your sister or his lover, that woman wants money. Is that woman the reason your father loved going down to Mexico? Do you think she reminded him of his past? Mom, I'm going to find a way to prove that she was never dead. Of course she wasn't. I just wish this would have never happened. Find out who that woman was. Find out, Victor. I will find out, Mom. Take care, Mom, Christine. Every day, I asked myself if chasing my dreams has been worth leaving behind everyone I love. After losing my mother, I got very close with my father. He taught me how to make candles and how to read them. At first, all flames seem the same, but if you know how to look, you see differences. <laughs> Quieres morir aquí en su casa. ¿Qué? Morir. Yo solo pensé que necesitaba un buen doctor. Él mismo tomó la decisión de dejar el hospital hace como una semana. Pero si cuando hablé la última vez con él me dijo que estaba bien. ¿Por qué te tardaste tanto en decirme que estaba mal? Él no quería que te lo dijera. Él sabe que tienes tu carrera y. Mi carrera. Ha estado un poco más fuerte desde que le dije que tal vez vendrías. Le dará tanto gusto verte.
It's two o'clock. Get up. Can't a guy sleep one off, Vic? Aren't you always sleeping one off? You remember anything? No. Not really. Unfortunately, mother, my fiance, and all your sisters do. That's all the help. Well, I pride myself on being memorable. Well, you must be particularly proud today. So what are you looking for? Clue to who that woman is. So you think I was dad's mistress too, huh? Dad wasn't that kind of man. Yeah, well, he was a man. And she's awfully pretty. I mean, who wouldn't want some of that, you know? <laughs> Looks like Susan finally roped you into getting engaged, huh? She's always smarter than you. I don't know about all that rope stuff, right? And she's the perfect woman for me. Ever a dutiful son. Perfect woman for you. Educated and rich. Good job. What's your mom doing? Save it for the honeymoon! Are you sure you share jeans with him? How are you doing? Being strong for everyone takes a toll. I'm worried about my mother. What kind of woman would do such a thing? I mean, even if she were... She wasn't. She could be anybody. You can't really believe that he would... <laughs> Your father was a very powerful man. I'm sure women threw themselves at him. It's too weird, really, that. Llamar a Miranda. saben cuándo deben apagarse.
brown-eyed brunette girl in today? Oh. You're one of Miranda's big dippers. Something like that. Is she around? She's not here. Okay. When's the next time she comes into work? She won't. I really need to talk to her. Yeah. Two bucks for the coffee. I said two dollars. There you go. Come back sometime. Thank you. Lo siento. Is it true that Miranda will protagonize a película in Hollywood? Miranda. Lo siento. Gracias. Oh, chiquito. Oh, chiquita, lo siento. Se nos fue. Ay, pero mírate. Estás más chula que cuando te fuiste. Muy pronto Guanajuato será conocido como la cuna de Miranda Ríos. Tan talentosa, chula. Ay, los gringos deben de adorarte. Hola, Inés. Sé cuánto lo querías. Sé que Felipe era como un padre para ti. Dime si puedo hacer algo por ti. Gracias. ¿Sabes que Miranda está aquí? Gracias por venir, Inés. De verdad, muchas gracias. Tu padre fue un hombre muy bueno. Siempre estuvo al pendiente de Tobías. Padre. Miranda, hija, no sabes cuánto lo siento. Gracias. Ustedes han sido como parte de mi familia. ¡Mami! Ay, Apolonia, ven. Saluda a tu tía Miranda. Uy. Pero qué cosita más hermosa. Está más linda que en las fotos. Y mira que le puso el nombre de la película que tanto les gustaba a ustedes dos, ¿eh? Ya tienen todo su vela encendida por la misma flama. Si no dejen que Tobías y Beto se las enciendan. Conocí a Felipe y a su amada esposa Patricia antes de que Miranda y mi hija Camila se volvieran las mejores amigas y soñaran juntas. Recuerdo antes de que Patricia aprendiera a leer la flama de las velas y a confiar en ellas de la misma manera que lo hizo Felipe toda su vida. Ella solía decir que se casó con la cera. El día de su boda, Felipe le entregó a Patricia una vela magnífica como símbolo de su amor. Ambos la encendieron y todos bailamos a su alrededor. Pero el año en que se casaron fue el de mayor lluvia y viento que cualquiera recuerde. Patricia estaba aterrada de que el mal tiempo apagara la vela que habían encendido el día de su boda. Felipe, con sabiduría, le decía una y otra vez cuánto la amaba y que el mal tiempo no cambiaría eso. No te preocupes, Tricia. Las lamas saben cuándo deben apagarse. Y cuando no. Un día lluvioso, Felipe se encontró la vela del matrimonio dentro del closet. La trajo hasta este patio y la puso bajo la lluvia y el viento. Entonces escuchó a Patricia gritar. Pero él le dijo que si la vela estaba destinada a seguir encendida, se mantendría la flama. El cielo se despejó, el sol salió y la vela siguió encendida con un intenso rojo brillante.
gracias por estar siempre con él. Tu padre y yo... Nos hicimos muy buenos amigos. Y hasta socios. Eras muy importante para mi papá. Es donde tenía que estar. Estuve todo el día deseando hacer eso. Te la compré en Los Ángeles. Camila me dijo que te hiciste fan de los Dodgers. Igual que Memo. ¿Cómo está eso? Gracias por las cartas que me escribiste. Las guardé todas. De verdad siento mucho haber tardado tanto en regresar. ¿Tienes idea de lo que vas a hacer ahora? No lo sé. No sé aún qué voy a hacer con mi vida. Lo único que quiero es dejar todo atrás. Anda ya. Vete a descansar. Buenas noches. Su nombre es Tobías y su padre acaba de fallecer. Él vivirá desde ahora con nosotros, ocupará el cuarto que está abajo. Tobías, esta es mi hija, Miranda. Todos nuestros anhelos, si luchamos por ellos. Tres que ver, no ocurra peligro con. Todos se han de lograr. Yo sé que es muy difícil. Tener todo en la vida Si vamos tropezando Una y otra vez Por eso es tan hermosa La vida que vivimos Cada paso que damos Logramos felicidad Excuse me. Miranda. Miranda está aquí. Miranda Ríos. No, aquí no. ¿Quiere el gringo este cara de abogado? Está preguntando por la Miranda. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué le digo? You guys do know Miranda, right? Miranda, I know she's here. Miranda está aquí. Sé que está aquí. Él que aquí no vive y que se vaya. Dile, pero si yo no hablo inglés. Un momento, please. Lo siento, señorita Miranda. El gringo este se metió a la fuerza. No, no pasa nada. Bueno, todo está bien. Do you remember me? We met at my father's funeral. How well did you know my father? How did you find me? Your Russian waitress friend gave you up. Did you meet my father here or in L.A.? Did you really follow me all this way? Was your relationship personal or professional? Is being a complete asshole a natural condition for you? Sorry, I, I meant in a business sense. Miranda, ¿estás bien? 
Sí, todo está bien, gracias, Tobias. Eh, les... Soy Vector, mucho gusto. Hola. Can we start again? ¿Nos podrías dejar un momento a solas, Tobias? Todo está bien. Hang on. What can you tell me about my father? What do you want from us? I just want to get on with my life. I want to put all that behind me. Oh, great for you, but what about us? You ever think about how much you hurt my family, my mother? Go away. And you will never see me again. I want some answers, goddammit! It was my intention. Now you were very clear. But maybe clear. I don't want anything from you. Gracias, Tobias. Es algo complicado. Perdón. ¿Quién era ese tipo, eh? Dios mío, está guapísimo. ¿Es un actor de cine o un productor? ¿Quién es él, Miranda? Quiero todos los detalles. Solo es una persona que conocí en Los Ángeles y ahora no quiero hablar nada de él. Entonces, ¿estás lista para salir? Sí. Memo quiere saber tu opinión de experto. Están rellenos de tequila. Ahora lo entiendo todo. Es tu novio. A mí no me cae bien. Y yo a él tampoco. ¿Y por eso viajó desde Los Ángeles para verte? ¿Para que siguieran rechazándose? Camila, mi vida en Los Ángeles ha sido más difícil de lo que te puedes imaginar. Uy, sí. Qué vida tan difícil. Gringos ricos y guapos siguiéndote más allá de la frontera. Por cierto, ¿está nada ilegal aquí? <risa> Olvídalo. Te tengo una sorpresa. Hello. Hey, Christine. I found her. I didn't learn much. Okay. And how is it there? This is a beautiful old city. Very different, exotic. I think she has a house here. What does she want? She says she wants nothing from us, but there's another man, I think, too. She moves fast. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna see her again? Christine, I gotta go. You must have to know the sweetness. Seriously? We have a new one. What's the matter? I don't want to talk with you. Desde que te fuiste no he hecho otra cosa que perseguir a tu vez. ¿Te fijaste cómo no se le despegaba en el funeral? Ay, bueno, a mí no me importa Inés, ella es linda. ¡Mami! ¡Hola! Mira Ay, quién te traje. Me alegra tanto verlas entrar juntas de nuevo. Ay, ¿A poco no nos extrañas haciendo travesuras acá y comiéndonos todos tus jueces? <risa> claro que sí. <risa> <risa> mm. Ay, bueno, ya, ¿no? Me encanta cuando se pone celosa. Mi amor, deberías de cocinarnos algo para mañana en la noche. Invité a Tobías a ver el partido de los Dodgers. Ay, de tus Dodgers. La verdad que no puedo creer lo bonita que les quedó la dulcería. Hermosa. Memo hizo la mayor parte. Es tan ambicioso como Tobías. Tú sabes que fue Tobías el que convenció a tu padre de conservar el taller, ¿no? Gracias. Bueno, mami, luego te la presto que ahorita me pertenece. Coste, ¿eh? <risa> No como la tuya. Esta es la verdadera sorpresa que tengo para ti. ¿Dónde está la luna? ¿Dónde?
Por fin lo tengo todo. La casa en la playa. La fama. El dinero. Pero ¿dónde está la luna? Solo podrás ver la luna cuando hayas encontrado a tu único y verdadero amor, Apolo. ¿La has visto alguna vez? Hace ya mucho tiempo. Pero la recuerdo como si hubiera sido allí. Cuéntame, ¿cómo es? La luna del verdadero amor es una luna llena, ardiente, de un precioso color naranja, tan grande que casi llena el cielo. Se ve tan cerca que sientes que puedes tocarla. Haría todo lo que tengo por ver esa luna. Esta era nuestra escena favorita. ¿Te acuerdas cuánto deseábamos las dos? Era Polonia. Por lo menos tú ya estás obteniendo el dinero y la fama. Cuando tengas la casa en la playa y encuentres a tu amor verdadero, estarás viviendo nuestro sueño, Miranda. No soy tan rica y famosa como crees. Pero vives en Hollywood. Tienes tus comerciales, la película. ¿Ya has hecho escenas de besos? ¿Te acuerdas cuando poníamos a Tobías a hacer la escena del gran beso de Apolonia? Y se ponía rojo, rojo, rojo. Aprendí a besar con él. Ay, se apuesto tan guapo que a veces cuando le daba clases de inglés hasta me distraía. ¿Estudió inglés contigo? Siempre estuve ahorrando para irte a visitar a Los Ángeles. Pero luego tu papá se enfermó y... Además, él siempre tuvo mucho miedo de que tú estuvieras enamorada de otro allá. En Los Ángeles casi nada es real. Es tan difícil encontrar el amor. Mira. Esto es una muestra de lo que encontré buscando el amor. ¿El hombre que te siguió hasta aquí? No. Un productor que me prometió que me haría famosa ahí. Anduve con él. Sabía desde el principio que nunca iba a funcionar. Mira. Te conseguí la película a ti también. Gracias. Se rompió hace un par de meses y... Con todo lo sucedido, olvidé recogerla en el taller. ¿Era la favorita de tu padre? So did my father know you had a boyfriend on the side? He's not my boyfriend. Sure looks like it to me. How much did you get from my father? I never received a penny from your father and I want nothing from you. I oh, see so you expect me to believe that you were in love with him? A man more than twice your age? Come on, give it up. How long were you guys together? How long were you screwing my father? I never even met your father. I don't believe you. I'm an actress. Oh, you're an actress? What, do you get paid by the hour or by the night? I was hired to go to that funeral. That's a lie. Who would hire you to go to my father's funeral? I don't know. You don't know? Why would you even consider doing that? I needed the money. Oh, so you did do it for the money. Who does that for money? 
Only people who always have plenty of money say money is not important. Try worrying about getting a really good doctor for your sick father sometime and tell me money means nothing. Oh, so that's why you did it. Because your father's sick, you ruined my father's reputation. Could you just work for the money? How many tips at the cafe would I need to raise this much? Take it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I didn't want to do it, but I was desperate. I have no idea I'd been seated way. I thought I'd be just another woman crying at your father's funeral. In the end, it was useless. My father died the day I came back. I'm really sorry. It caused so much pain for your family. So you never even met my father? I never wanted to meet any of you. Christine, hey, how's mom doing? She could be better. How's it going? I talked to that woman again. She says she never even met dad. So why was she at the funeral? Apparently somebody sent her. Who is she then? It's strange. She seems decent. Really? I don't know. <clears throat> Just can't make sense of it. Well, I gotta find out who did this and who this woman really is. Don't say a word to mom until I figure this thing out, okay? What can I do to help? How can I get this woman to trust me? like the wreath. I'm so sorry about your father. Losing your father can make you do crazy things. I'm horrified by all the awful things I said to you. I was crazy by the thought of you being my father's lover. I know it's a lot to ask you to forgive me. Yes, it is. Leave me alone. After you tell me who hired you. I have no idea. Could you help me find out who did it? Somebody went to a lot of trouble and expense to destroy my father's reputation. If it were your father... So, after his first wife died, he started the foundation for other transplant recipients. And he devoted the rest of his life to helping others. Lucky. You had time with him. All the time in the world wasn't enough. I really miss him. I had to leave my father and my home to chase after my dream. Let me finish telling you everything that happened. I saw an ad, an open call for a film. My audition was recorded and I got the part. I was so happy, you know, my first part in a feature. I told all my friends about it, including my father. I'd been waiting for a break for so long. I didn't know it was an actual funeral. Until the dress fitting, two hours before, and the money was in my hand. I almost didn't do it. But 
I thought money might save my father's life. And... Sorry. I didn't ask any more questions. I understand. I really do. I have no idea who hired me or why. Miranda! Me alegro encontrarte. Hola. Um, Camila? This is Victor, Victor, Camila. You don't dislike each other anymore? <laughs> I'm an English teacher. And does my accent sound more Southern or British? British. Definitely more British. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Mir, look, I couldn't wait to get them printed. They are great. <laughs> Miranda is so successful. My God, she's rich. You have no idea how much money she donated to the school today. Oh, wow, she's a very generous woman. She is. <laughs> By the way, the kids want to do a little show for you, and the principal would love to have you come and teach acting for us. Of course, anytime your career allows it. <laughs> have you seen Miranda act? Oh, yeah. Isn't she great? <laughs> She was the star of every school play. I always play the best friend. She'll win an Oscar someday, and then she'll have her dream house by the beach with a view of the moon. Right, Miranda? But all houses on the beach have a view of the moon, don't they? Mm-mm. Not all of them. Oops, I have to run back to school. I took a ten-minute break half an hour ago. It was nice meeting you, Victor. How long will you stay? Uh, until tomorrow. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, well, have fun, Miranda. May I walk with you? Is everyone in this town in love? This is the kissing alley. And those are the kissing balconies. Sounds fun. It's one of Guanajuato's best legends. The mine owner's daughter lived there, and a worker lived on that side. Forbidden love. One day, the mine owner found his daughter kissing the poor worker across the balconies. And this was a dishonor for his family. They would never accept his love. And the rich man preferred to kill his own daughter than to suffer the shame. Blood was spilled. And now couples come here to kiss and profess eternal love. Have you ever? Is anyone on the balconies? Only one second. This is the address where the casting session took place. Now I have told you everything. My father would be ashamed of me if, if he knew what I did to your family. What are you looking at? Candles are never wrong. What do you mean? Can you see colors inside a flame? My father taught me that colors change according to the energy around them. Yes, I see something in there. The tiny bit of beautiful orange inside a flame? I mean, you have started to forgive me. That's true. You have time to show me your father's workshop? You seem so proud of him. <laughs> this was his favorite spot. Here? He taught me how to make candles. Could you teach me? This is a mold. We need it wet. Okay. Grab it. And slowly. Dip in. And have lots. Come water again. Pull it up. Gently.
Yeah, the flowers for her father was a good idea, Christine. Great. And? I spent the day with her. I didn't find much. But now I have a plan. What is it? Can you hire a private investigator in L.A.? Sure. Remember she used to work and uh, have this address to look into. He visto asomarse a la luna. Creí que tú y mi mamá estaban viendo el partido de los Dodgers. Dame lo que te jetra. <risa> ¿Todavía te acuerdas cómo hablar al revés? ¿Recuerdas cómo volvíamos loca Camila no entender, no? <risa> Mira, canilla, va. <risa> ¿Todavía puedes decir vanaguana? Eh, dar. Das recu. Das recu en vi. <risa> Pero qué desesperación no poderlo decir rápido. Recuerdas bien que me gustaba la guanabana, ¿eh? Nunca vi el final de esa película que tanto les gustaba a las dos. Mm. ¿Apolonia encuentra el amor verdadero? ¿Qué, no eres fan de los Dodgers? La verdad no. Y entonces, ¿por qué ves todos esos partidos con Memo? Cuando recién te fuiste a Los Ángeles, enviaste una foto tuya en un partido de los Dodgers, ¿te acuerdas? Mm -hmm. Prácticamente me llevaron a la fuerza. ¿eh? Tenía la esperanza de que algún día, cuando enfocaran las gradas, podría verte en la televisión. No. Ve, me lo devuelve. No. Ah, no. Cosquillas, no. No, se está derritiendo. Dámelo, no. se va a derretir, lo estás tirando. Por supuesto que recuerdas hablar al revés. Ya, no. se va a derretir. No es mío. Te dejo tu película. Ey, ¿a dónde vas? Tengo mucho trabajo en el taller. ¿Crees que a que te pare a prego al de Narce? <risa> no, gracias. Tenemos un pedido muy grande para un cliente en la Ciudad de México. ¿No lo puedes dejar para mañana? No podemos darnos el lujo de perder a este cliente. Y las cuentas se están acumulando. Por cierto, vi que hiciste una vela. Está un poco chueca, pero... <risa> Nada mal para una persona que no ha hecho una en años. <risa> ¿Piensas trabajar solo toda la noche? No puedo pagar tiempo extra a los demás. Se siente estar de vuelta en casa, ¿no? Te 
juro que nunca me imaginé que me iba a ver tanto tiempo. Es increíble tenerte aquí. Podríamos hacer tantas cosas juntos como antes. Yo he cambiado, Tobías. Y tú también has cambiado. Ya no somos los dos niños enamorados de antes. Yo sé que... los sueños son importantes. Déjame ayudarte. Pusieron a chambear. Sí. Este. Eh, mete la camioneta reversa. Hay que meter todo esto para entregarlo al mediodía. ¿Todo? Todo. Que a poco la miranda está tan buena teca como se ve. Vuelves a hablar de esa forma tan irrespetuosa y será tu último día de trabajo aquí. Está bien, lo siento. ¿O a poco estás molesto porque por poquito le ganan a los doyers en la novena entrada? Bájale, ¿no? Ah, pues ni que fuera para tanto. No, pues sí, qué mal partido, ¿verdad? <risa> Digo, después de tres carreras. ¿Qué es? Cuatro. Cuatro. ¿Ok? Ya. Váyanse, tú manejas. Ya, ya vámonos. <risa> Pobres. Y ellos creen que te interesan mucho los Dodgers, ¿no? <risa> Pretenderlo me facilita la vida. Hay algo que te quiero decir. Mira, yo... Yo sé que has trabajado mucho y mantuviste abierto el taller de papá. Bueno, tu padre me enseñó todo. Por eso quiero que te lo quedes. Y todo, ¿eh? El taller, el inmueble, el equipo, todo es tuyo. Te lo mereces. Podríamos convertirlo en mucho más. Hay distribuidores en México, en Estados Unidos, con tu inglés podríamos exportar. Prácticamente tú lo construiste, por lo tanto te pertenece. Eso significa que te irás de nuevo. No sé, no sé qué va a pasar con mi vida. Lo único que sé es que quiero Una que... Una fábrica te... de velas no es parte de tus sueños. Solo sé que la fábrica de velas que tú construiste tiene que ser tuya. ¿Has visto la luna? Recuerdo a Polonia como que era... Yesterday. Yesterday the moon was big and full and orange. How could I ever touch the moon? To touch the moon, you must dare to take a... Take a risk. To take a risk. I can see the moon now. All right, so it's all arranged, Christine. Great, I'm on my way. Gracias, Evelyn. De nada, señor. Gracias. Sí, eso es todo bien. Sí, eso. ¿Por qué estuvimos separados tanto tiempo? ¿Por qué tendría que seguir sintiendo todavía algo por mí? ¿Y tú sigues sintiendo algo por él? Pero tu sueño no se encuentra aquí. He luchado por mi sueño tanto tiempo que no me voy a detener ahora. Por favor, dime que me entiendes, Camila. ¡El gringo está allá afuera! ¡Pone inglés en this room, Toñito! ¡De gringo!
What do you think you are doing? I thought you were gone. I'm playing soccer with my new friends. Hi, Camila. Glad to see you. Hope you'll accept this. Thank you. I meant, why are you here at all? I have something I think will be a wonderful surprise for you. Can I show you something you've dreamt of for a long time? I don't think it's a good idea. Let me make up for my awful behavior. It has my cell and everything. Oh. Aeropuerto, por favor. What? What do you mean by aeropuerto, por favor? Oh, no, no, we're not going to go far. You helped me out, so I just want to return the favor. It'll be fun. que dejes de pensar en ella. Nunca, Inés. Ella no pertenece más aquí. Puede irse en cualquier momento. Yo misma la vi. Divirtiéndose con ese hombre en el callejón del beso. Tengo mucho trabajo que hacer, Inés. Gracias por las galletas. Tobias. ¿Dónde está Miranda? Al parecer ella va a llegar tarde hoy. ¿Anda con él? Si me necesitas, ya sabes en dónde encontrarme. Ah, right. you're there. You're there, you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Does it look like your dream house? It's better. Some tequila to celebrate? What you do here, Miss? Hola, mucho gusto. Soy Miranda Ríos. Miranda Ríos. You speak Spanish? Sí, sí, soy de Guanajuato. Rosa. My beautiful Rosa. Mr. Victor. I'm so sorry about Mr. Bill. Que el Señor lo tenga en su santa gloria. It's a blow to all of us, Rosa. So you two have already met? You know, this was my dad's favorite place in the entire universe, Rosa. He loved it here in Veracruz. You kept him really happy, and the whole family is grateful to you. I have something I want to tell you, and I want to make sure you understand every word. Miss Miranda will translate, okay? <laughs> Just because my father won't be coming back here anymore doesn't mean that we're going to sell the house. You and Luis can continue here for as long as you want. Él dice que pueden quedarse en la casa todo el tiempo que quieran, que no la van a vender. We might be using it a lot. Que quizás él podría venir más seguido. Eso no fue lo que él dijo. <laughs> she... She understood just fine. <laughs> Now I cook for you, Mr. Victor. Okay? Okay, thank you. I guess she doesn't like me. She will. Let me talk to her. Rosa? Have you ever seen her before? I don't remember. Maybe with my father? No, Mr. Victor. 
How is Senorita Susan? She's fine. Thanks. Así es que ella te regaló el taller. Lo estamos perdiendo, mi amor. ¿Está enamorada de él? No lo sé. Ah, hay algo muy complicado entre ellos. Back to LA soon. I don't know if I'm going back. Your government doesn't want me. Oh, <laughs> why? You, uh, you're a troublemaker? <laughs> I had a two month student visa and overstayed it by several years. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's why I didn't see my father for so long. What about your acting career? Oh, it wasn't much of a career. I won a scholarship to a summer program in LA and got a small role very quickly. That sounds good. Everyone encouraged me to stay, but then I found no roles at all. Then I took some classes and worked on my accent. Your accent? <laughs> I love your accent. It's so sexy. <laughs> I did a little theater and Made a few commercials. The only national one I made hasn't even come up. There's good money in that, right? Who knows? It made me look like a movie star. That's as close as I got. Not much to show for all that trying. <laughs> <laughs> Life was a lot clearer before my father died. Mine too. He used to bring me and my brother, William, out here a lot. My mother and my sisters, they don't come here very often. And, uh, William's mother and my father, they love this place very much. Is she the woman in the painting? My father, he always said the view of the world was much better from here. When I was a girl, Camilla and I saw a movie about a woman named Apollonia, who had wealth, fame, and a beautiful house on the beach. But there was no moon. She believed that a full moon would appear when she found true love. We were convinced that acting was a way to achieve Apollonia's life. Does she ever find true love? Miranda no llegó a la casa anoche. Yo creo que debemos ir a la policía. Ella es una mujer adulta todavía. Qué fácil decirlo. Y si estuvieran problemas. ¿Es Miss Miranda up yet? Her door is still closed. Okay. You look great today, Rosa. I thank you, Mr. Victor. Fun? <laughs> My dad used to drive. I'm just proud of your <laughs> Calaveras? Calaveras. Cala calaveras. Nice. Love it. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? 100 pesos. Bien. Yeah. 
Japan. Uh-huh. Everyone should smoke a cigar once. She says you have to relax. Yeah, uh, tell her your husband will relax as soon as she stops pushing him. You're just like Rosa. You understand more than you let on. Tell you. Well, I catch words, but I, my mouth just can't say them. Oh. Four years of college Spanish will get you. Deben venir más seguido para que esto les ayude. Y se mantengan siempre jóvenes y bellos. Hasta que sus nietos les lleguen a la rodilla. Me and the grandkids should give us. Cuando llega el ocaso. Y recuerdas tus triunfos. Tobías. Vuelven las alegrías de los días de ayer. Al final del camino. Cuando ya estés cansado, cuenta todos tus triunfos, revives otra vez. Are you hiding here in the dark? Oh yeah. Stop. <laughs> I think it'll be full in two days. It will take at least three. What about the one from your movie? Does it look like that one? Nothing is quite like that one. Maybe in a few days.
Rosa Wells, yes. <laughs> she has a night off. Oh. You plan well. Mm -hmm. I know what red means. Uh -uh. You have to let the flame take care of itself. the way you are, when you see the world, your dreams, your smile, your lips, your accent. What happened to you here? The way was difficult for me. I was breaking up with my boyfriend. Hello? Victor, it's me. I've called a dozen times. How are you doing, honey? Hey, I'm sorry. I, um... I lost my phone charger and I had to go buy a new one. Christine told me you're not coming home today. What's going on? Are you all right? Yeah, um, I found her. Great. So, what did you say? Hey, Susan, can I call you back? Um, my mother's calling on the other line. I should uh, take it. Okay. Call me later. Love you. Okay, bye. Love you too. Christine, when you get this, you gotta call me back immediately, okay? Our plan was wrong. And there's a, there's a, a much better way of going about finding out the truth. Right? Much better for us and um, less painful for her. But I brought you. I've been thinking. I know a lot of lawyers in L.A., good ones, because I have a brother who keeps them very busy. 
And I think we could fix your immigration problems. I want to help you. You could have a great acting career, and and uh, you could be like that woman in that movie that you love. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. Look. Let me finish. Um, I own this place in Malibu. It's not like this place, but it's nice and livable, and has a, a beautiful view of the moon. And uh, you could live there as long as you want. You live there? Only if you invite me. <laughs> <laughs> That's very generous, but you know your mom, your yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, they'll take a while. I can't deny that. What do you think about it? Will you do that for me? Dice que el hombre con el que se fue no es su novio. Nunca había escuchado algo así. Sí, sí, así es. ¿Me van a ayudar o no? Debería de buscar en cada cuarto de hotel de Guanajuato. Ella está con el gringo Tobias. Estás perdiendo tu tiempo. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Llámame a Polonia en la playa. ¿Por no me hablaste antes, Miranda? ¿A qué no escuchaste mi mensaje? ¿Regresas a casa hoy? ¿Hoy? Lo dudo un poco. Tobias me está metiendo ideas en la cabeza. Ay, no, Camila, por favor, qué ideas. Este viaje ha sido como un sueño para mí. Y no sabes, Víctor se ha estado portando como un caballero. Creo que me estoy enamorando perdidamente de él. ¿Es en serio? Ajá. Ay, me tenías tan preocupada. <risa> Pero qué bueno que te la estás pasando bien. Oye. ¿Qué pasa? Me está... Que me está mojando. <risa> Don't do that. ¿Qué? ¿Ya te besó? Sí. Cuéntame. Ay, no. Ay, por favor. <risa> No. Hey, Camila. Hey. You were right. Miranda is fantastic. She is. Camila. No. Wait. No. 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 Please. Please. Victor. No. 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 Thank God, Christine, you're there. I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything. What? He decided to go Can't... anyway. Victor? He should be there right now. Will this pass inspection at the Mirador? Sounds pretty fancy. Who are you talking to? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Honey, I'm home. Shit. <laughs> oh, little brother. Aren't you the naughty one? <laughs> Shut up, William. We were just leaving. Dad and Victor got you first. How much to screw every man in the family? Hey, oh! hey, no. You're such an asshole. What is it? Is it a mother thing? Screwing dad's latest squeeze? Let's just go. <laughs> you know, she didn't even know dad, all right? She wasn't his mistress. It was all a lie. It doesn't matter. Everyone believes that she was. I mean, look at her. She looks just like my mother. And that's all it took to tarnish the Brighton name. Now, and for Oh, and that pleases you? Immeasurably. Well, it was you, wasn't it? Whatever do you mean, Mom? It was you who hired her to ruin Dad's reputation, wasn't it? Why would I do that? Just because Dad cheated on my dying mother with yours? I don't believe that. Oh, you don't believe that? Your slutty mother and our virtuous father destroyed her? No, I already know it was you. Why don't you go ahead and admit it? You're the only one in the world who hated Dad. Oh, don't limit me, Victor. I just don't hate Dad and his first tour. I hate all you stupid bastards he had with her. <laughs> oh! Oh! Crack in the perfection of Prince Victor. <laughs> I love it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, is that why Christine wanted me to come down here so that you could use your whore to flush me out? Was that the plan? Is that why you brought me here? Miranda, I... I... He used us both, Miranda. Shut the fuck up, will you? So you decided to get a little while waiting for him to show up? Is that it? It wasn't like that at all, I swear. Did he mention Susan, his fiance? Miranda, I promise I was gonna... Did he offer you the love palace in Malibu? Miranda, honey, baby, love. 
Did he make you believe that he loved you? Shame on you, Vector. Shame, shame, shame on you. Are you gonna crash the wedding like you did the funeral? Miranda, honey, baby, love. Oh. Oh. una guía de turista. Te cobro para. Bueno, no cae nada. Chiquita, ¿dónde has estado toda la noche? Eh? Ah, muñeca, ¿qué tal? Un dos por uno. ¿Cómo ves? ¿Te animas? Ay, sí, por favor, sigue moviendo ese bote para nosotros. Para, para. <risa> Con una chingada, muñeca. Por ti estamos dispuestos a pagarte cada uno. ¡Comandante! ¡Esta puta me robó la cartera! Unidades 2025, dirigirse al sector malecón. Vamos, lárguense antes de que me lo lleven. Gracias. Ay, de verdad, gracias por ayudarme. La prostitución está prohibida aquí. Sí, pero yo no soy una prostituta, por favor. Entonces, ¿qué haces vestida así? A estas horas y caminando sola. No puedo creer esto así indignante, de verdad, es ridículo. ¡Depende! ¡Suéltame, imbécil! Manos a la pared. Manos a la pared. No soy una prostituta. Eso lo vas a explicar en la delegación. Lo único que quiero es irme a Los transportes del norte anuncian la salida de su autobús número 25 con destino a Puebla y a la Ciudad Buena. de México. Pasajeros, favor de abordar el autobús Buena, ¿dónde vas? por la puerta de Bájese del autobús. Monterrey y Nuevo Laredo está programado para el punto de la media. Excuse me. Perdón, oficial. Uh, busco por Miranda Rios. Um, how do you say shit? Vestido, negro. ¿Ella le hizo todo eso? No. No, 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 no. Nada. Tenemos algunas prostitutas. ¿Quiere echar un vistazo? Cabronas, yo. Claro. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. La 
Princesita. Mira qué bonito. No te muevas. Te parto la madre. Te Nice. No, me lo trajo la princesita. No, me la mugre, perra. Diosa. Ay, Dios. A ver qué más nos trae la noche. ¿Qué es eso? Bueno. Camila. ¿Qué es lo que estás buscando? Estoy buscando. Porque sabemos dónde está. ¿Qué? ¿Está bien? Sí, está bien. ¿Dónde está? No te voy a decir. Please, Camila. I have to talk to her. Please. Yo sé perfectamente quién eres. Camila atendió esto. El baño está por acá. Sé que tu vida en Los Ángeles ha sido difícil. Que tal vez tuviste que hacer cosas que no querías hacer. Lo podía escuchar en tu voz. Por más que trataras de ocultarlo... Me sentí inútil. Incapaz de ayudarte, de, de protegerte. Yet. I, I, I told you to stop William from coming. You know him. How could I stop him? I wanted to kill him. You have to come home. You have to tell Mother what you found out. She's hearing all the rumors. Susan's here too, and she's asking me all these questions. Yeah, I'll fly home today. What you saw the last couple of days. I never saw anything, Mr. Victor. ¿Cuánto tiempo me dormí? Como tres horas. <laughs> Perdón por despertarte, pero quería comprar algo de comer para el camino. No de hambre. Comemos adentro. No, oye, ¿no fue del grupo que tenías con Memo? ¿Siguieron tocando? Eran buenos. Mi papá de Inés nos dejó tocar por mucho tiempo en la fonda del Callejón del Beso y cuando 
Memo se casó con Camila, pues después de eso, pues ya... Sí, ya me imagino. <ríe> Todas las chicas encima de ustedes. Sobre todo Inés. ¿Inés es solo una amiga? ¿Te gustaron las enchiladas? No sabes cómo las extrañé. En cada pensamiento tú conmigo estás. Eres... Victor, I'm so sorry you couldn't stop William. What happened to your lip? Uh, it's my fault. What an idiot I am. Don't say that. You found out the truth and mom will feel better. Susan's here. Monica's been raving for an hour. The investigator sent you this. Your brother is a moron. William isn't. Right, both your brothers are morons. Somebody hired her to do it? What kind of subhuman would agree to that? There's some people in this world who actually need money, Monica. Will you let your brother finish? All right, until the last minute, she thought it was a part in a movie. All right, she, she was cast perfectly to make us believe the whole act, and we bit. All right, they told her to appear, leave the rose, and cry. Wearing that sexy dress? Don't try to make us feel sorry for her. She put us through hell, Victor. I don't think this family knows what hell is, Monica. All right, let's focus less on the woman and, and, and more on who hired her. Mother, I'm sorry. <sighs> William was behind it. Son of a bitch. That bastard. Sorry, Mama. He admitted he hired her. He was proud of it. It was all intentional. He's still ranting on about his crazy idea about dad and you. He and I had a fight. Since the day I fell in love with his father, I really tried to love him. You did love him, Mother. All of us did. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm I wish I would have found out something different. At least we know that father wasn't having an affair with that woman. Oh, good for us, Chrissy. How do we convince the rest of the world? We can't, Monica. Right? We're stuck with the lie William created. But what matters is we know the truth. Dad was an honorable man. Sí, te ves en mí. Ay, qué insoportable. Se están hablando de nuevo al revés. Bueno, ahora es mi turno de consentirla. De edad, ver. Si has gran. Ahora sí. Cuéntame todo. Oh, quiero olvidarme para siempre lo que pasó en Veracruz. ¿Pero dijiste que eras a Polonia ya? Sí. Y exactamente como ella no encontré la luna llena. ¿Está casado? ¿Comprometido? Lo sabía. Me alegra tanto haberle dicho cabrón. ¿Cuándo hablaste con él? Esta mañana. Me dijo que te estuvo buscando toda la noche. Le dije que no te volviera a hablar nunca. Ha estado sonando todo el día. Hiciste bien. Fue una linda fantasía, pero no duró lo suficiente. Tú no necesitas de ese idiota. Pronto tendrás un Oscar y, y la casa en la playa. Tienes tu carrera, Miranda. No, no tengo una carrera, Camila. ¿Por qué la gente asume que solo porque te vas a Hollywood ya eres rico y famoso? ¿Pero que no te dieron el papel principal de una gran película? No, no hay película, Camila. Me engañaron. De la misma forma que me he estado engañando yo todo este tiempo para mantener vivos mis sueños y no sentirme una fracasada. Allá no era más que una mesera con un uniforme ridículo. Pero ¿qué hay de todo el dinero que donaste a la escuela? Fue lo 
que me pagaron por fingir ser la amante de su padre. ¿Y por qué harías algo así? Para salvar a mi papá. Y sí, sé que lo que hice fue terrible. Y le hice mucho daño a Víctor y a su familia, pero también me lo hice a mí misma. Es algo que me va a perseguir por el resto de mi vida. ¿Y qué piensas hacer ahora, Mir? Ya no quiero llorar. Ya me cansé. <risa> mi único plan es vivir el presente. Esta noche me quiero comer unas enchiladas con mis amigos de verdad. Ay. Pero Memo y Tobias están muy emocionados por el partido de esta noche. Los Dodgers pueden llegar a las finales o algo así. Confía en mí. Que los vamos a convencer. Wow. Es tan increíble. Me encanta. Te vas a ver hermosa. Te miré llegar, ajá, me acerqué a tu vida y te dejaste amar. Y ahora resulta que te vas Te entregué mi amor ajá. Me hiciste dichoso Me hiciste un favor Y ahora me le das el dolor Dichoso, me hiciste un favor y ahora me heredas el dolor. Estaba por la casa. Te dejaste amar. Introducing Movie Star, the energy drink of the stars. Are you okay? Your mother finally fell asleep and Christine is resting. We should go. ¿Deberíamos darle serenata? No, no, no se escucharía. Mira, Beto. ¡Eh, Tobías! Te lo dije, los dueños están en las finales. ¿Qué, qué? Bien, me debes 200 varas, ¿eh? No que no traen nada, pistolita. Can you see the moon from here? The moon? I never noticed. With all the bright lights in the city. But you always know it's there. I 
never noticed the moon either. What's going on? You've always been so wonderful to me. I can't keep this up any longer. What is it, Victor? Keep what up? I'm sorry, Susan. I think this is not going to work. Mm. Gracias. Um, hay algo que quiero enseñarte en el taller. supone que tengo que ver tu taller nuestro taller Tobías déjame decirte algo todo lo que yo siempre he deseado tener se encuentra aquí ahora mismo si tú me dejas hacer tus sueños realidad los míos también se cumplirán Tobías no, yo... podemos expandir el taller podemos ponerlo en otro lugar venderlo podemos hacer lo que queramos con él Cualquier cosa que hagamos funcionará para mí. Yo tengo algo de dinero ahorrado. Podemos irnos a Los Ángeles y poner uno nuevo allá. Hay algo que tienes que saber. ¿Qué? Que te las viste negras en Los Ángeles. Ningún sueño que valga la pena es fácil de conseguir. Olvida el pasado y empecemos una vida nueva juntos. Tú puedes ir a Polonia, yo lo sé. Déjame ayudarte. Yo... Yo no tengo una carrera de actriz. A Polonia no buscaba la fama. Ni la casa en la playa. Ella buscaba el verdadero amor. Es por eso que siempre quisiste ser ella. ¿No lo recuerdas? Te amo, Miranda. Te he amado desde el primer momento que te vi. este tiempo que estuvimos separados me he convencido de lo que siento por ti es real hagamos que funcione So sorry. I thought you'd want this back. Please let me apologize. Por favor, Miranda. You're going to embarrass me until I let you in? Is that the plan? Just let me apologize, then I'll go. 
I've heard that before. There's no excuse for what I did. The first two words you ever said. I never meant to hurt you. Which part was accidental, Victor? Setting up the whore to trap your brother? Or setting her up as your mistress once you found out your father never slept with her? I tried to call off the confrontation many times, but William, he came anyway. You took me to Veracruz to trap him. When I first invited you. Yes. But I changed my mind. I tried to stop it. When? When your plan to make me your mistress formed in your sick mind? When I fell in love with you. Please. Miranda. Miranda. This is an immigration attorney. You deserve another chance of following your dream of becoming an actress in LA. Is that my dream? All his fees will be paid, even if I never see you again. That's more likely if I stay here. You told me you loved me. I never said that. The red flame in the candle told us there was love. Love is something I didn't plan to fall in love. It just happened. I love you in a way that I never knew was possible. Engaged men are supposed to know what love is. I thought I did, until I met you. How are you planning to explain me at the Malibu Love Palace? I just wanted to get you out to LA and buy myself some time. By buying me? I wanted to find the least painful way to break off my engagement. I failed. So you have made a second woman miserable. Is that what you are saying? I screwed up all the way around. But I never loved her like I love you. You have done her a favor. Someday she will figure that out. I love you. Please, forgive me. ¿Por qué no le diste las velas a Miranda? No se podía ahorita, estaba muy ocupada. ¡Pancho! <risa> Duplicaron el pedido. ¡Ey, qué bien! ¿Qué? Pues más horas extras para nosotras. Totalmente. Quizás hasta un nuevo empleado también. Ah, pero uno más inteligente que el Beto. ¿Más inteligente que quién? Que tú. A ti se te quema hasta el agua que pones para el café. <risa> se lo voy a decir a Miranda. ¡Ey, no! Es que volvió el novio de la Miranda. ¿Qué? Sí, los vi acá, pues. Ya sabes. Sálganse. Sálganse. Las están hirviendo, las ollas. Las ollas. ¡Vámonos! ¡Van fuera! We can convince them. Believe me. No, Tobias, por favor. You will never love her the way I do. You don't know what love really is. No one just falls in love. They climb to it, struggle for it, claw their way up to it with heartache and blood and a thousand bruises. I've spent 16 years learning how to love Miranda. You can't match that in a few weeks. Yo te voy a decir algo. Puede ser que tengas dinero, fama, una casa en la playa con él. Pero jamás encontrarías esa luna llena que tanto has buscado. ¡Tobía! ¡Hay un mal al taller! Vete. Llama a los bomberos.
着了。Trula first. Everything else falls into place. Even your dreams.
Ultimo il mio nascosto per me che 